Good evening, everyone. So tonight we are going to go over the new addition to uh, Roblox uh, Lumber Tycoon, and that is the Logic Gates. All right, I'm excited to play with these. So let's go ahead and get started here. What do we got? This is an in-or gate, or sorry, a not gate. So what does a not gate do? Well, let's hook it up and I'll show you. Boop. In circuits, what happens is whatever input is on the back end, either it's going to be on or off, a zero or a one. That's what the logic part is. So let's go ahead and move this, and we're going to attach it to a switch right there, and to the back end right there, and finished. And then we're going to attach this move from here, kind of do a little zigzag pattern here and attach it to the light. Hopefully, hopefully this works. Ah, there we go. And finished. So there's an on, right? This side is zero, which means this is going to be the opposite. So if I flip this to on, the other side should become off. Yay, and off, on, off, on. So it gives it a negative effect. Sweet. All right, let's, uh, let's check out the next one. Oh, oh, come on, close. Um, the next one, it looks like, and, or is that an or? That's an or switch. Here we go. This is an and switch. So, if we set an and switch, and let's just detach this, move, we'll put that to the output, and to the light. Finished, and we'll attach this one to A. Uh, by the way, there's an A and a B on an AND switch. So we're going to call the right side, actually, we're going to call the left side, no, if you're looking at a circuit like this, A, B, okay? Move here and here. So in an AND switch, the, uh, the A and the B have to be on for C, or output, to be true. So if I just have the first one, nothing happens. If I just have the second one, nothing happens. But if I have both, then I have an ON switch. Yay. Oops. There we go. So A and B. Hello. <laughs> Dragon Kid. Hi, Dragon Kid. Say hello to YouTube. <laughs> you are famous now. <laughs> Dragon Kid has got a little jersey on with seven and a little cowl going on, and it's got the awesome swords. Very cool. <laughs> Hi, YouTube. So that's how to do the AND switch. Both A and B have to be on for output to be true. Now, what's kind of cool about this is we could combine this with an in... Oh, oh hold on. And finished like that. And come on, there's another wire. Okay. So there we go. We're going to go E, 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 E. Section of wire is too short. What? What? Well, then B and cancel it. There we go. E, E. There we go. And F to finish. All right, so <laughs> both A and B have to be on for output to be true. Once output is true, it turns the output of the not switch into false. So on, on, false, on. Yay! That is a circuit <laughs> or a gate, logic gate. And you can do the same thing with buttons as well. So let's go. What is this? That's not mine. Hey, Dragon Kid, you left your stuff here. On my base. There we go. Okay. 
So the next one's going to be an OR switch. So let's switch out this. There we go. An OR switch means A or B can be true and output will be uh, will be true. Uh oh, whoops. B. All right. Let's see. E. E. F. There we go. And then move. Hi, Dragon Kid. <laughs> He's asking, what you doing? Well, Dragon Kid, I'm making a video. <laughs> I know you can't hear me right now. Hold on. Making a video. Yes. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and, and move this. Move. And we're going to stick it right here. To here. There we go. Okay. So, on an or a switch, either A or B can be true, and then output will be true. So, this one. Yay. And this one. Yay. Or both. You can't you can have both on. So what are these good for? Um, once we move this stuff around um, and you get more of these, you can combine them to create what's called like closed circuit clocks and stuff like that. I don't know if the clocks actually work on this. I'm gonna have to try it, um, but I'm gonna need more than one of these uh, or switches. So uh, the next one's going to be the X or switch. X or means A or B can be true, but not both. So, uh, let's see, let's move. There we go. Connect this up real quick. And F. And move. I should have just gotten a whole bunch of switches. That way you guys didn't have to wait for the setup on this. Come on, F, there we go, move, and to the button, yes, oh, I already had the switches on, darn it, all right, um, X or switch, so, A can be on, it will be true, B can be on and it will be true. Uh-oh, I missed. Oh, not you. I don't want to move you. Ah, darn it. <laughs> I moved the entire circuit. Oh, that's okay. We can just move these wires again. So, there's one. Two. Finished. There we go. Okay. Move. One, and two, finished. Shh, got my alarm clock going off. All right, and one, two, there we go, finish that. So, um, let's do this again. A can be on, it will be true. B can be on, and it will be true. But A and B cannot be on. It becomes false. So either one or the other. So that's an or switch. So um, yeah, that's how logic works in programming as well. Um, let's see, what is this? This is log detector, I think. I think that's a log detector. Yeah, let's open that up and see what it does. Um, there we go. Log detector. Does that do anything? I may have to research this one in a second. Log detector. Oh. Oh, did you see that? Hold on. All 
Alright, how did that work? Come here. Oh. What? Oh. You see that? If there's a log over the top of it, it turns on that laser. That's pretty cool. Alright, so let's put that on top. Not quite sure how to use that yet. Uh, here, let's hook up a switch to it. There's a, it's got a connection here in the back. Finished. Did that do anything? When there's a signal to the back of it, it does not detect. Does that make sense? That doesn't make any sense. Okay. When that's off... There it goes. Oh no, it sends a signal. Did you see that? Okay, how are you working here? All right, let's turn that back on. It's in the on position. And it switched it off. Ah, oh, that's awesome. Okay. Very cool. So you could use that to, like, um, on a um, conveyor belt or something. If a log rolls over the top of that, you could have it turn off the conveyor belt or open up a door or something like that. Uh, turn on a saw blade. Hmm, there you go. So it would turn off the, it would shut a door, turn on a saw blade, cut it, and then open the door once it's done. Uh, and this is a delay timer. Or a delay circuit. Oh, uh, okay. Okay, let's move this. We're going to move this right over here. Looks like the current flows that direction. There's a little arrow on top. So let's go ahead and move this to right here. Click and click. By the way, you always want to make sure you turn that, turn off the circuit before moving it, otherwise you could get some adverse effects. You can't get shocked. So I guess that's a good thing. Alright, we got that hooked up, finished, and let's give it a try. Oh, okay. How do I... There we go, we can adjust the delay. All right, so we're we're gonna give it that much delay. Oh, awesome! So there's a delay to turn it on and a delay to turn it off. Ooh, I have an idea. Uh, which one was my X or switch? Okay. So this is this is just a thought. Let's try this here. Oops. There we go. I don't know that it's going to be long enough. Oh. There we go. Okay. So, we're going to have a delay timer on there. And then, uh, let's see, move this, I want this to be our on timer.
finished. And I need a third wire. Give me that. The input to this... Can I get it to go around there? Oh, I hope so. It's going to be the output of the XOR. And finished. Okay, so it can be one or the other, but not both. So that means when I turn on the switch, it's going to turn this on, which will come over here and delay for just a second, and then it's going to go back over and turn it back off, which should essentially create a clock, I'm hoping. Oh, turned it off and on. And off and on. Oh, we've got a timer switch. <laughs> that is that is so cool. Look at that. It's a clock. And I bet I can adjust it. On, off, on, off, on, off. That is so cool. And if you just want to turn off the, the clock, you could do that. That is, <laughs> that is amazing to me. Um, let's see here. Can I do another one? Just attach it right there. Finished. Yay! Yay! Uh, across, okay, where you get them, you can pick up these circuits uh, over the waters, across the sea, take the ferry, go to the dock, and pay the boat man, be prepared, they are expensive. Expensive. By the way, I don't care about my spelling. Don't don't correct me on my spelling. I don't care. But these are logic switches. These, these like you could, you can make a calculator technically if you had the correct um, logical sets. You could create a calculator. Okay, let's finish out with what the rest of these are. This uh, I think is a laser. And this is a laser detector. So we're just going to line these up here. Oops. Uh, we've got to move this one. Flip it around. Turn, turn, turn. Whoops, no, rotate. And finished. Turn. What have I done? Oh, no. There we go. Okay. And E, place it down. There we go. All right. So that's the actual laser. That's the laser detector. And you can break that with... Uh... There you go. That is awesome. I wonder how far the laser shoots. Let's go ahead and turn it. Uh, rotate it. E, set it down. Oh, that is awesome. Okay, so it comes all the way out to about here. That's a that's a good two tree links. So that is so cool. <laughs> Laser, pew, pew. <laughs> pew, pew, pew. And E. So, <laughs> what does that do? In just a moment, you will see it on my channel. Smiley face. <laughs> So you could use that to turn on uh, something or turn off something, use your logic switches, whatever your mind can come up with. Search for code primate. 
He's like, hey, what's your channel called? I'll search for it. Absolutely, dude. All right, and then this is just a hatch. Uh, I think it just opens. Yeah, it just opens. Okay. So you know like where the, the secret entrance is? That's kind of like what this is. So you could have an, a hatch that opens up, or you could have wood push onto it and kick kick it up somehow. Uh, if you had a piece of wood on here, does it carry it, or does it go through it? Ah, it just goes through it. So, that's it. Thank you, everybody, for watching this uh, Logic Gate Switch newness. Um, if you want to see it, log in. Uh, go across the, the water to um, buy it. It is expensive, so it took me a little bit to actually get across there. You're going to spend seven minutes on the boat both ways. Hope you've enjoyed this video. Like and subscribe down below, and as always, have fun. Good night, everyone.